Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com I'm in the peaceful middle of nowhere First of all, before we go any further, just have a look at that view But what we're here today to talk about is a massive mountain board bag Now this particular one is the scrub uh, board bag and you may notice that on various websites it's, I've, it's got the scrub logo in massive letters there and then either a green or a orange trim this, however, when it arrived, had neither, but it is actually a scrub one all the same. And, well, I'll whack this on the tripod and then we'll have a look. Now, due to the enormous size of this, unfortunately I cannot fit the entire bag in shot, so I'll do my best, please bear with me. Uh, first things first, you've got your Velcro strap at the top, and then two zips that let you zip the bag right down to the far end. And then obviously you can easily get the board in and out. Um, there's not really much to say about the inside apart from there's three pockets each with zips on this side which I use to keep my knee, shoulder and hand uh, pads in. So those just about fit in there and zip up nicely. Then obviously if we come a bit closer and look down there's always going to be a lot of free space around the board itself. Um, this is the Scrub GLD DH board, which is the biggest one that Scrub do and bigger than a lot of kite boards and it just about fits in. When it comes to carrying the board, uh, you've got two handles on the side which I tend to carry it like this and swap shoulders. I mean, I don't advise that as it probably will do your back no good. Uh, you also have some proper backpack straps on it. But if you try to carry it with the board in, with the backpack straps on, obviously the wheels and that are going to be at the back of your legs. So it's not really practical when the board's in. But once you are on the board and you're heading down wherever you're heading down, just being able to stick this on as a normal backpack. So even though it's very big, it's at least out of the way and you're keeping it with you. All in all though, I do think that having the board in a bag is a lot better than not having it in the bag as it makes it a lot easier to carry even if you're just picking it up and carrying it under your arm or using the straps as you don't have the angled edge of the board and all the weight digging into your hands. See, by keeping the board in the bag you're not then when you want to for example put this in the back of a car just put in a muddy board with all of the mud over the wheels that this normally has got straight into a car so it's a lot tidier and a lot cleaner and for that alone I think this is well worth having. Well, I hope that this has proved useful to you. If not, I'm terribly sorry. In any case, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to see a lot more of this board in action. And, well, I'll see you around soon. Farewell.